Six quarterbacks were drafted in the first round of the 2024 NFL Draft. With the first pick in the 2024 NFL Draft, the Chicago Bears select. And this tied a record set in 1983 for the most quarterbacks taken in the first round. But this also marked the first time that six quarterbacks were selected in the first 12 picks, setting yet another record for the earliest selection of six quarterbacks in NFL draft history. The quarterbacks who were drafted were Caleb Williams, Jaden Daniels, Drake May, Michael Penix Jr., JJ McCarthy, and Bo Nix. And while all of these quarterbacks were drafted high in the first round, there are only two that were really highly touted coming out of college. With Caleb Williams, the 2022 Heisman Trophy winner from USC going to the Chicago Bears number one overall, and the Heisman Trophy winner of 2023 in Jaden Daniels out of LSU being picked number two overall to the Washington Commanders. With both of these young superstars being drafted in the NFC, this would surely spark a quarterback rivalry for the NFC dominance for years to come. But why did these two teams pick one over the other? We have to go back before the draft even began. Let's start with the Washington Commanders. We begin with some breaking news from the Washington Commanders. After closing out the year with just four wins, head coach Ron Rivera was fired this morning. It comes as players clean out their lockers for the season. Leaving them near the bottom of the barrel in every key stat, both on offense and defense, with a final record of 4-13. and The Washington Commanders cleared house and brought in head coach Dan Quinn to take over, as well as Cliff Kingsbury as offensive coordinator, who was the quarterback's coach of star Caleb Williams at USC, as well as a former head coach of the Arizona Cardinals. These two changes alone set the commanders up for an excellent staff to groom a new rookie franchise quarterback. With the number two overall draft pick, they were guaranteed to have a Heisman Trophy winner with either Caleb Williams or Jaden Daniels, both of which were prime prospects in the 2024 NFL Draft, both being exceptionally athletically gifted mobile quarterbacks with an uncanny ability to throw the ball off platform and make plays with both their feet and their arms at the same time. The commanders would certainly be set up for a successful draft. And as it turned out, the Washington Commanders struck gold when they drafted Jaden Daniels at pick number two. He quickly endeared himself with his teammates and coaching staff alike, picking up Cliff Kingsbury high-flying air raid offense and earning the trust of the coaching staff. With just seven full games under his belt, Jaden Daniels has already racked up 1,736 yards, averaging 8.4 yards per pass, seven touchdowns, two interceptions, as well as four touchdowns on the ground with an additional 424 rushing yards with a completion rating of 71.8, which puts him in the upper echelon of NFL quarterbacks. Jaden Daniels is already on track to win Rookie of the Year as well as possibly break rookie quarterback records. But what makes Jaden Daniels so special is not just the stat sheet or the highlight reels, but his ability to put the team on his back, whether in college at LSU or at the next level in the NFL, and win those big games and make those big plays when it matters most. And none mattered more in his young NFL career than his first matchup against the Chicago Bears and the quarterback who was drafted one spot ahead of him at number one, Caleb Williams. But we'll get to to that in just a second. Let's talk about Caleb Williams and how he ended up becoming the number one overall draft pick to the Chicago Bears, who were just in their third year of former first round draft pick quarterback Justin Fields, who they had traded away to the Pittsburgh Steelers for a six round conditional pick that could become a fourth round pick if Justin Fields plays more than 51% of the Steelers snaps in the 2024 season. But why would the Chicago Bears move off of their very similar dual threat mobile quarterback that they had only drafted three years earlier in the first round just to use their number one overall draft pick in this last year's draft to grab a very similar quarterback with a similar skill set? Well, it's complicated, but it's not at the same time. You see, Justin Fields and Caleb Williams, they do share a similar skill set and athleticism, but 
Justin Fields was three years into his pro career with the Chicago Bears and he simply wasn't able to be consistent and put it all together. He was still way too raw and inconsistent and unable to put the team on his back and win the big games and make the big plays when it mattered most. And the decision was made by the Bears that if he could not progress after three years, they would simply have to move on from him and not miss out on a generational player like Caleb Williams. If they were to do so, that could prove disastrous for them so they would quickly move on from Justin Fields grab Caleb Williams who many people compare to Patrick Mahomes 2.0 you see Caleb Williams much like Patrick Mahomes is a magician outside the pocket he can throw the ball in the craziest of angles sometimes not even having both feet planted on the ground which is unbelievable and it's frustrating to defenses and amazing and wowing to adoring fans with his best year in college being the Heisman year of 2022 the hype around Caleb Williams was well deserved, though he did have a bit of a regression year in 2023, losing the Heisman to Jaden Daniels. He was nonetheless impressive in college and his upside in the NFL is unlimited. And so the Bears decided to reset the quarterback clock with Caleb Williams in the hopes of finally putting the Bears back on track to being a dominant team in the NFL. And his rookie year has been impressive, but not without its downsides as well. In seven games played, he has racked up 1,448 yards, averaging 6.5 yards per attempt, nine touchdowns, five interceptions with two 210 yards on the ground and 22 sacks. This would result in the Bears being in last place with a record of four and three as of the recording of this video in the NFC North. So on October 27, 2024, when the Chicago Bears who desperately need to stay in the hunt for a playoff game would go up against Jaden Daniels and the Washington Commanders who are currently in first place in the NFC East, Caleb Williams' first overall draft pick status would severely be tested and a new heated quarterback rivalry would be born in the NFL. But it wouldn't just be Caleb's reputation on the line, but also Jaden's as both quarterbacks would be severely tested by excellent defensive play from the opposition. Caleb would suffer the most from the commander's defense, only completing 41.7% of his passes on the night, 131 yards with no touchdowns and no interceptions, neither through the air nor on the ground, giving him a QBR of just 36.1. But if you just look at those stats alone, you would think that the Bears had no chance in this game, but you would be wrong. See, Caleb Williams was able to drive the Bears down the field in the fourth quarter and take the lead from the Commanders with only 23 seconds left on the clock in the fourth quarter on a Roshan Johnson one-yard touchdown run, making the score 15 to 12. And although Jaden Daniels had put up 326 passing yards on the night, the Bears defense held them to just four field goals and so with only 23 seconds left, everyone figured the game was over and the Bears would walk off with a victory. But this is where Jaden Daniels shines and why he was the Heisman Trophy winner in 2023. He loves the big game. He loves the big challenge, the glimmering lights. And even at the next level in the NFL, he appears to have ice running through his veins as nothing seems to phase him. After receiving the ball and a couple of quick out passes to get the commanders in distance of throwing a hell Mary, Jaden Daniels then put on a performance that will go down in history as one of the most amazing comeback Hail Mary victories in NFL history. With the Bears only rushing three and everybody in deep coverage, Jaden Daniels was able to buy time over 12 seconds with his feet and put his guys into position. Even while he was being chased down by the Bears defenders, he easily was able to outrun them and get himself in position to launch the ball 53 yards down the field into a crowd of Chicago Bears and Washington Commanders. Tyreek Stevenson, number 29 of the Chicago Bears, was taunting the Commanders fan base instead of doing his job. Quickly realizing the ball was about to be thrown, he scampers over and is able to actually tip the ball up into the air into the waiting hands of the Commanders receiver in the end zone. The game on the line. 
And the ball is caught! Caught! It's a miracle! Costing his Chicago Bears team the victory. Something his teammates will most likely never let down. Now, three and a half quarters of this game had little to no excitement, but the way that it ended should put the NFL on notice that there is a new quarterback rivalry in town. Think Steve Young, Troy Aikman, Peyton Manning, Tom Brady. Both of these young quarterbacks, Caleb Williams and Jaden Daniels, will only get better over the years, as will their stat sheets and highlight reels. And if you made it to the end of this video, congratulations, just comment Draft 2025 down in the comment section for your chance to win a prize worth over $300. Make sure you're subscribed and like this video. And if this video gets over 1,000 likes and 500 comments, we'll do the giveaway.